Roy Kent. Roy Kent. He's here. He's there. He's every. Sports fans, welcome back for another episode of Tear Talk. I'm Connor. This is Dawson. And today we're going to be ranking fictional athletes from your favorite books, movies, etc. Shall we begin? Let's get after it. Let's do it. Wild thing. Rick Vaughn. Played for the Indians, now they don't exist. Oh, Ricky. Haircut, tough. Glasses, tough. Glasses, too tough. I just had the vibe to him. If he's pitching, you're done. He's the best part of the movie, the first one. Second one, he gets the call to the bullpen. So he can't be too high. Guy gets washed up quick. That's what happens when you're chucking gas. Guy was chucking gas, I said, uh uh. No longer a starter. Guy probably needed Tommy John two days into filming this. <laughs> Charlie Sheen, nuts. He can be on the podcast. Charlie Sheen, you're invited. For now, for now, we give a you a C. I'm saying the same. C for Cleveland. All right. Happy Gilmore. I mean, I'm, I'm not much of a golf guy, but I respect him. <laughs> guy changed the game. Happy Gilmore, Tiger. Not your traditional golfer. He won that one tournament though. <laughs> Have you ever seen like, if you start it at this time, then it's like 10 whatever on December 31st, you can like get the moment where he wins it at midnight when the ball drops. The electric. Just because someone thought of that, I feel like you have to rank him kind of high. Yeah, I don't think he's low. I don't think he's, I think he's like in the middle. For me, he's a B. Not a B, B works. B, because it's on his it's shirt. It just always works Boston that way. The karate kid. Daniel LaRusso. <laughs> personally, personally, I think I like, because of our generation, maybe I just am biased. I like Jaden Smith more. I do not, but I'll, <laughs> I respect that's him. that's just me. I I mean I I like both. To my classic movie watchers out there, I do like the original Karate Kid. I feel like the move that is used to win. Oh yeah, that's in fair. the Jane Smith movie where it's he like better. he backflips it <laughs> yeah. off the of one leg. That's just tough, and the effects are better. But like this is classic. Daniel Sun, guy he, was cooking in karate, but at the end of the day, it's kind of all just. Good coaching. At the end of the day, he wasn't that good. <laughs> it was all just the magical hands of Mr. Miyagi. Just wax on, wax off. I will say, wax on, wax off is better than pick up your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> In the Jane Smith movie, they're like, pick up your jacket, put it on, pick it up, oh, I do put it down. That. Wax on, wax off is way better. <laughs> it just is so much more like cool. But what are you giving this guy? I don't know. Like a nether C or B. I was between not C or B. not my favorite fictional athlete, but like what a guy. Yeah. Proved him wrong. Not my favorite sport. Don't like the show. That's just a hot take. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. I'm not a fan. Oh. Actually, because of Cobra Kai, I take him down to a C. I think C is pretty good. C for Danielson. Rocky. <laughs> Come on. Look at this picture. Looks like a the candle. Italian stallion. <laughs> looks like a candle. This looks like a wax museum. This is awesome. <laughs> this is as high as it gets here. Great movie. There are all 34 of them. Outside of the movie, though, as an athlete, the goat. The underdog story the of a lifetime. He's lit. I think this is an S. Is Creed going to be on the list? We'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> um. I would say that Rocky's an A. Okay. Rocky proved him wrong. Underdog story. The odds against him, they were stacked. He beat Ivan Drago. Guy was winning fights for eight yeah, movies. Yeah, when he beats the Russian, that's when you know he's the GOAT. <laughs> you going A? Yeah. <laughs> Roy Kent. Roy Kent. Roy Kent. He's here. He's there. He's every... Um, I would say that... Roy Kent is just lit. Incredible character. <laughs> the show but, only starts when he's washed up. I think that the backstory you're given, like his time at Chelsea, he was you're, the one. you're basically told that he was the GOAT. Yeah. And that the, the first season is his last season playing. Roy Kent, we never got to see it. We, we never we, saw we, it. We as the viewers never got to see it, but what you're told is that he was the man. So does that make him was like an A and then we take him down or we're just 
taking their word for it. I think I would just take their word for it. They yeah. they told us. They said, "Hey, he was this." So you just accept that. <laughs> I would go B for Roy Kent. Roy Kent's a good B. Good B for Roy Kent. Bobby. Oh, this is not the longest yard. This is uh the Water Boy. Water Boy. This movie's great. Guy could lay the wood. Guy is dumb as a brick. <laughs> not the smartest. And his mom, Bobby Boucher, classic. Good season. He had a good run at it. Multi-dimensional could fix up a Gatorade and <laughs> block a kick. <laughs> fix me a drink, but also tackle your favorite quarterback. <laughs> Overhyped. Sleep on Bobby. Undersized linebacker. I'm C or D here. D for Bobby. Love the movie, but as an athlete, he's all right. All right. Lola Bunny. <laughs> Lola Bunny. S. <laughs> I think every kid our age had a crush <laughs> on Lola Bunny. Locker room distraction. There was something weird going on, dude. When I was six, I was attracted to a rabbit. <laughs> it's a phenomenal movie, too. But somehow she was, like, good. Like, she crossed up bugs. She was never the best player on the team. And just so you all know, we're not talking about the Space Jam with LeBron. Nope. We're talking about Space Jam with MJ. And that's why I'm going to have to give this an A. I like A for Lola. She's tough. Had the ball on a string. Has me on a string. There you go. <laughs> a for Lola. Ka-chow. Ka-chow, dude. What else is there to say? Next. You just roll up the music. <laughs> Life is a highway. I didn't know how to like when you sing that. I was like, I don't think I know this song. <laughs> I don't actually like really know how it goes. <laughs> Never but will. But I do know that this is my child. Yeah, he cooked too. Guy could have won the, what's it called? Pixel cup or whatever they call it. The piston cup. Piston. piston. But he goes back because he's a sportsman. Wholesome. Goes back. Let's the dude win. Carries the vet across the line. Takes third. I don't like that. Killer instincts. Go in the race. <laughs> he could have won the race though. That's all you need to know. That's true. He could have won easily. Then doesn't he like crash in like the next one? The second one? Yeah. I, when they go to Tokyo, they lost me. But I think that... <laughs> Tokyo. They go to Tokyo in like the third one or something like that. I have no idea. Oh, I watched them all. They're, it's not good later on. But the first movie, that's elite. That guy could hum. Guy could hum. Guy took Radiator Springs from... To... Impacted his community. Impacted the community and the sport. This guy on and off the track was just a all around good fella. Might be the only NASCAR driver I know. Yes. <laughs> Rider. Car. NASCAR. NASCAR car. Yes. Is he an S? I don't know what to do with this. I don't think I would put him in an S. I feel like he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Okay. B I would a. go A. I would go A. A, a for lightning. We love you. Talladega Knights. Ricky Bobby. I don't terribly need it. Well, he would say, if you ain't first, you're last. So I guess he's last. <laughs> well said. See ya. Because I don't think he's an S. I don't a real sport. He's not even an A for me. I mean, he... <sighs> movie's good. We're talking about him. As a driver. Is he him? In the movie, he has a stint where he sucks. He hit a slump. The guy hit a slump. Just a reckless fella, this one. I take this to a D. We'll go D. D for Ricky Bobby. Billy Bob. Varsity Blues. Too slow and dumb. Uh, F. I feel like this guy's kind of trash. He was too <laughs> slow and dumb. <laughs> it's because he was concussed. <laughs> All right, fine. D. Comes in, blocks the kick at the end. If you want to go D, I'll take a D. At the end of the day, the guy's just a lineman. Guy guy had one play his whole <laughs> career. He was guy's too slow. responsible for Trey getting hurt. There goes my hero. <laughs> and there he was, and he blocks the kick. He was the hero. But he sucks. D. <laughs> for the D. D for Billy Bob. Benny the Jet from the Sandlot. Okay, hear me out. So this guy's a legend. Benny the Jet might be the GOAT. The man, the myth, the legend. You, like, watch him grow up, and then at the end, he's just him. And then he points up to the stands to the main character, 
as he stole home to win the World Series. He made it happen. Benny the Jet might be an S. I was going to say, do you have this all the way up there? I might have him at an S. Benny the Jet, our first S. S for Benny the Jet. I, I can't I can't go lower. It's Air Bud. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? How many like movies did they make of Air Bud? I feel Too like, many. I feel like there was like, mul- wasn't there like a basketball one, a volleyball one? Multi-sport athlete. Multi-sport athlete. Dude cooked. Guy did a little bit of everything. Guy was pick, picked first at the playground every single time. No matter what you're playing, he's winning. Jim, Jim class hero. Jim rat. <laughs> Guy can't get enough. <laughs> His shoes make me laugh. I hate the shoes. <laughs> it's pissing me off. I feel like like casting this dog for Air Bud was like dog abuse. It could have been. I feel like they had to like make him jump eight feet. And like he wasn't ready to train for that. <laughs> no, but no. He... <laughs> he was already doing this. <laughs> they found him at the local rec center <laughs> playing all the sports. He was already an athlete and then he became an actor. Okay. He was born in the shoes. Honestly, Air Bud, mid. Does he talk? No. I don't think so. Ah, he might. I mean, here's one thing that I'm just going to point out. Haven't watched Air Bud since, and I never will again. Because I don't respect his game. He plays multiple sports, but he just does the same thing in every sport. Just jumps. (laughs) Just gets a little air. He's got no handle. He literally can't. All he can do (laughs) is tap it with his nose. Four seconds on the shot clock, Air Bud's probably just going to hit it. And bark at me. And then when I yell at him, he won't even understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to get bit. <laughs> All right, D for Air Bud. D for Air Bud. I'm not trying to get bit. <laughs> oh, not this guy. Guy's a legend. What, did he cook? I've never seen this. In uh, Quidditch? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Quidditch. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Potter used to cook in Quidditch. <laughs> His freshman year at Hogwarts... He's like instantly on the varsity team, which usually it takes him like three years to get to. And he's the star for Gryffindor. <laughs> True freshman out of Gryffindor. Bang! He, he plays uh, in the first movie, they play House Slytherin. And Gryffindor and Slytherin are like the two big houses. And Draco Malfoy, the other freshman, is like the other star. So you're like, okay, big freshman matchup, Harry Cooks. No moment too big kind of fella. Yeah. Just that kind of guy. Like, when you look at him, you know. You know that he... I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know. (laughs) When you look at him, though, you know he's getting it done. Whatever the job is, whatever the task is, he's getting it done. Then in the final movie, it's like the whole dark army versus the world. This guy saves the world from Voldemort. Just by strength. Once again. With his wand. With his wand. Walter Payton, man of the year. Time person of the year. This is one that sneaks up on you. <clears throat> you. What do you walk into the local Quidditch arena and you're like, ah, you can be on the other team, and then you just get buried alive. You get eight. You get eight alive. I'll go. I'll go B or A. You sold them pretty good. A. <laughs> A for Harry Potter. A for Harry Potter. For Harry. What an athlete, dude. Oh, what is this movie, dude? I remember this kid. Like Mike Calvin. Cambridge. Yes, that's right. Guy just absolutely cooks. Can he? Doesn't he play in the NBA or he something? He finds a pair of shoes, they turn him into Michael Jordan, and then he, yeah, plays in the NBA as a six-year-old Bow Wow. And he's, like, dunking and stuff? Just throwing a tap. <laughs> Guy might be the GOAT. Shoe merchant. Take the shoes away from him. Yeah. He's done. Yeah, true. I think at some point he, like, loses the shoes or not in his locker. Bricks. Shoes made him spud web. Like, made him Just spud. a short little bouncy fella. Yeah. <laughs> And then take the shoes off, and what is he? My cousin Dennis. <laughs> so if technically anybody could have had the shoes and been arm in the rim. <laughs> Does he get his arm in the rim? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say this. Yes, a shoe merchant. But, but then he's putting the arm in the rim. He's got the cornrows. He's got style. Tongue out, guys. And that's that's half the battle. Half the battle's fill in the crowd. And he, he got the crowd. See. C for Calvin Cambridge. Thank you for watching another episode of Tear Talk here on Sports Knot. Make sure to subscribe for new episodes every single week. Like this video, comment what we should do next, and check out Sports Knot. Uh-huh.